Chapter 1 of The Shining Gateway by James Allen. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Andrea Fiore. Chapter 1 The Shining Gateway of Meditation. Be watchful, fearless, faithful, patient, pure. By earnest meditation sound the depths profound of life, and scale the heights sublime of love and wisdom. He who does not find the way of meditation cannot reach emancipation and enlightenment. The unregenerate man is subject to these three things, desire, passion, sorrow. He lives habitually in these conditions, and neither questions nor examines them. He regards them as his life itself, and cannot conceive of any life apart from them. Today he desires, tomorrow he indulges his passions, and the third day he grieves. By these three things, which are always found together, he is impelled, and does not know why he is so impelled. The inner forces of desire and passion arise, almost automatically within him, and he gratifies their demands sans question, led on blindly by his blind desires. He falls periodically into the ditches of remorse and sorrow. His condition is not merely unintelligible to him, it is perceived, for so far immersed is he in the desire or self-consciousness that he cannot step outside it, as it were, to examine it. To such a man the idea of rising above desire and suffering into a new life where such things do not obtain seems ridiculous. He associates all life with the pleasurable gratification of desire, and so, by the law of reaction, he also lives in the misery of afflictions, fluctuating ceaselessly between pleasure and pain. When reflection dawns in the mind, there arises a sense, dim and uncertain at first, of a calmer, wiser, and loftier life, and as the stages of introspection and self-analysis are reached, this sense increases in clearness and intensity, so that by the time the first three stages are fully completed, a conviction of the reality of such a life and of the possibility of attaining it is firmly fixed in the mind. Such conviction, which consists of a steadfast belief in the supremacy of purity and goodness over desire and passion, is called faith. Such faith is the stay, support, and comfort of the man who, while yet in the darkness, is searching earnestly for the light, which breaks upon him for the first time in all its dazzling splendor and ineffable majesty when he enters the shining gateway of meditation. Without such faith he could not stand for a single day against the trials, failures, and difficulties which beset him continually, much less be courageous to fight and overcome them, and his final conquest and salvation would be impossible. Upon entering the stage of meditation, faith gradually ripens into knowledge and the new regenerate life begins to be realized in its quiet wisdom, calm beauty, and ordered strength, and day by day its joy and splendor increase. The final conquest over sin is now assured. Lust, hatred, anger, covetousness, pride and vanity, desire for pleasure, wealth and fame, worldly honor and power, all these have become dead things shortly to pass away forever 